Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is time once again for you and me to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. And we do that on the morning mindset. Thanks for joining me. If you have any kind of thing you would like to let me know or even would be willing to just tell me your story of faith, I would love to hear from you. You can reach out to me. My email address is Kerry, C-A-R-E-Y, at Kerry Green, just like the color, dot com. I would love to hear from you. And we're diving back into our Mind War series. And I'm calling it the Mind War because most of the battles we fight when it comes to our faith happen in our own minds. We have doubts. We have uh, deceit that's thrown into our thinking. We have cultural influences that warp our perspective. And we have got to do battle in our own minds to keep ourselves straight with the truth of God's Word. And today we want to look at Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. And today we want to look at how we can stop struggling with making godly decisions. Many of us know that it's a struggle. We don't know if we're doing the right thing. We question whether God is in this. We question, is this the right opportunity or not? And friends, all of this comes down to faith that's based on truth. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 is going to supply one of those truths for us today. Let's read it. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Now, let's take a little time here to dissect this because understanding this truth and how to apply it is going to be key to us overcoming the struggle we have with making decisions. Now, first off, Solomon tells us, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Now, what is trust? Trust is relying on something. It's believing something to be trustworthy, and you're going to lean on that with all your weight. And so when we say, yes, I trust the Lord, but are still doubting or still uh, hemming and hawing about something, we're not really trusting the Lord. See, we have to put all of our faith on Him, all of our weight on Him, that we are believing He is going to guide us. That's what it means to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Now the next part of the verse, and do not lean on your own understanding. And what that means is don't set God aside and try and figure out the problem all on your own. God will sometimes use your logic. He will sometimes use your pros and cons in a situation, but don't put all your trust there. See, we're to lean on the Lord, not only on our understanding. The two have to go hand in hand. So we're trusting the Lord to guide us through our understanding, and that has to be a conscious decision. Verse 6 amplifies what this looks like. It says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. What does that mean? Well, it means in all your ways, recognize he is present. He is with you. He is giving you his guidance. And you have to believe that through faith, friends. Even in that circumstance where you're unsure, you have to be certain God is with you and wants you to make the right decision. He wants to lead you in his paths. And so, friends, as we do this, that last part of the verse becomes reality. It says, and he will make straight your paths. So as we trust in him with all our heart, and we don't lean only on our own understanding, and we're aware of and acknowledging he is present in this, and we're listening for his leadership, he will make straight our paths. Now, that doesn't mean we're always going to receive like this voice from heaven that tells us very clearly step by step what we should do. But it does mean we can be confident that as we move forward in a decision, God has been part of our process of determining the way to go. And we can step forward with confidence. And friends, know this too. When God makes your path straight, He does so sometimes two or three steps down the road. So if you've made an error in your calculation, God is more than powerful enough to redirect and to get us back on the right path. No decision, no step, is outside of his control or is beyond his remedy. He can always bring about course corrections. So friends, we can stop struggling with decisions by applying the truth of Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. So next time that struggle comes up, friends, I want to challenge you. Pull out Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 and apply the truth of it in your decision-making process and trust the Lord with all your heart. 
Lord God, thank you for this amazing comfort that comes through this truth, knowing that you have committed yourself to be involved in the process of decision-making with us. And you have determined, you have promised, you will make our path straight when we align ourselves with you. So Lord, enable us to do that so that we can honor you in our decisions and we can stop vacillating back and forth with indecision. Lord, give us the ability to win the mind war in this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends, let's pray again for world spiritual renewal. Our God, we ask you to guide us in our decisions so that we can do what brings honor to your name in this dark world. We want the light of Christ to shine through our lives, through the godly decisions we make, through being in the right place at the right time so that your work in our lives can be seen by those who need to see it most. Lord, we believe you are working in this world. As dark as it may seem, you are working behind the scenes. You are working out the advancement of your kingdom, the growth of your kingdom, the transformation of lives to bring them into your kingdom. Lord God, we ask you to align us with what you're doing. Do it through repentance in our own hearts and a stronger faith that grows out of us as we move forward in you. Lord God, we ask you to do all this in Jesus' name.